Hello students, I'm your English teacher. My name is Kadrali Vainura and today we are going to talk about defining and non-defining relative clauses in the political system of the USA. Let's start our lesson. Lesson objectives. In this lesson, students learn about the defining and non-defining relative clauses through guided rules and exercises. This is followed by a reading text where students read and find out different relative clauses. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to identify the major political system of the USA. Defining relative clauses gives us information about the first part of the sentence, which is needed to identify a person or thing. They define exactly who or what we are talking about. Second part starts with the relative pronoun who, which. Doesn't have commas. Can use that instead of who, which. Two clauses joined together by a relative pronoun. Brenda is a friend. I went on holiday with her. Brenda is a friend who I went on holiday with. Defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses come immediately after a noun and give vital information about that noun. He is a doctor. He is a doctor who helped my grandmother. They can go in the middle or at the end of sentences. We don't use commas. The man who told me about this plate was old. I met the young woman who cuts your hair. Defining relative pronouns are different depending on whether they refer to people, places, things or positions. Relative pronouns who, that, people, where, places, which, that, things, whose, possessions. Who or which can refer to the subject or object or of a sentence. When they refer to the object, it is possible to omit who or which. She is a girl who works here, subject. She is a girl who I met, object. She is a girl I saw on the bus, object omitting the pronoun. We often use that instead of which. We can also use that instead of who in informal English. Here is the book that you wanted. Let's do the exercise. Choose the correct words. He is a police officer who, whose car was involved in an accident. He works in the department where, which my aunt is in charge of. That's a woman whose, who works a 60-hour week. Jenny is an IT consultant who whose fixed our computers. She is a woman who wish applied for a cleaning job. That's a building site where whose my brother works. Unskilled work is work which who requires no qualification. India is a place which where a lot of call centers are located. Let's check. He is a police officer whose car was involved in an accident. He works in the department which my aunt is in charge of. That's a woman who works a 60 hours a week. Jenny is an IT consultant who fixed our computers. She is a woman who applied for a cleaning job. That's a building site where my brother works. Unskilled work is work which requires no qualification. India is a place where a lot of call centers are located. Complete the sentences with the relative clauses. Use the information below. Her company is really successful. The new hotel will be there. His job is to change 
text from one language to another. They make microchip. They are researching climate change there. That's the theater where my sister works. She is a director. He works in a laboratory. That's the building site. Do you know any carpenters? Tom works for an IT company. A translator is a person Let's check. That's the theater where my sister works. She is a director whose company is really successful. He works in a laboratory where they are researching climate change. That's the building site where the new hotel will be. Do you know any carpenters who make furniture? Tom works for an IT company where they make microchips. A translator is a person whose job is to change text from one language to another. Relative pronouns are who, whom, which, and that used to join clauses to nouns. Relative clauses are parts of sentences that begin with relative pronouns. For example, the man who, who is a relative pronoun, who bought my car, it's relative clause. Relative clauses are often called adjective clauses because they add to the meaning of nouns, rather like adjectives. Compare ripe plums and plums that are ready to eat. Relative clauses non-defining relative clauses with who, which, or whose. Look at these sentences. Melanie works in the hairdressers. Melanie, who lives next door to me, works in the hairdressers. Here is a relative clause, who lives next door to me, add extra information, but it is not necessary for us to identify Melanie. We can understand the first sentence without this extra information. Non-defining relative clauses gives us extra information about a person, animal or thing. The relatives go between commas. Without this extra information, the sentence will still make complete sense. Example. Your brother who gave me the news saw the accident. Your brother saw the accident. Still makes sense. Which refers to the whole of the sentence before. Can be used to make a comment about the whole situation described in a main clause. The teacher arrived on time, which amazed everybody. They had everything ready for us which was nice. What is the reason for using non-defining clauses? Example. Sheila is a student. What can we do to make it more interesting? In non-defining relative clauses, we can't use that. We can't omit the relative pronouns. Example, I like Spider-Man, which I have seen recently. Not that, no omission. I have found my keys, which I had been looking for. Not that, no omission. Who and which can be the subject of the relative clause? Tony Blair, who was Prime Minister for 10 years, studied law at Oxford University. The Prime Minister lives at 10 Downing Street, which is in London. Who and which can also be the object of the relative clause. When who is the object, we can also use whom. 
there were many stories about Jack Jones, who, whom many people suspected of the crime. The severe thunderstorms, which nobody had forecast, caused floods in several places. We use whose in place of the possessive adjectives his, her, their. One go, whose paintings now sell for millions, hardly managed to sell any during his lifetime. Compare the two sentences. Sarah lent Jim his camera, which was practically new, which is the same her camera. Sarah lent Jim his camera, which was very kind, which is the fact that Sarah lent Jim her camera. We call the second type a sentence relative clause because which refers to all of the previous part of the sentence. Grammar in action. We often use non-defining relative clauses in formal writing. They are common in use reports and biographies. Tony Blair, whose full name is Anthony Charles Linton Blair, was born in 1953. In 1980, he married Cherry Booth, whom he had met in 1976. From 1994, he was the leader of the Labour Party, which won three consecutive elections. We can also use non-defining relative clauses in descriptions of places, for example, in guides, books and travel articles. For example, Venice, which is very popular with tourists, lies on the Adriatic Sea. The town is crossed by many canals, which are used for the transport of both people and goods. The main canal is the Grand Canal, which is lined with dozens of fine buildings. We can use sentence relative clauses to give a reaction to or comment on facts. For example, My grandmother walks everywhere, which is very good for her health. Simon and Sandra never wanted to have children, which surprised some of their friends. And now, students, let's do the exercise. Frida Kahlo. Complete the text by writing in relative pronouns and including a comma if one is necessary. The artist Frida Kahlo, who died in 1954, is becoming more and more popular. As a child, she suffered from polio, which left her right leg thinner than her left. She disguised this by wearing skirt that reached to her ankles. She had several sisters, but was closest to her father, who encouraged her to study medicine. One day, when she was 18, a bus which she was traveling in was hit by a car. In the accident, she broke several bones, including some in her back. These injuries that resulted in many operations affected her for the rest of her life. She left her medical studies to paint and sought advice from Diego Garcia, whose paintings she very much admired. Garcia encouraged her and later they got married, which didn't please Frida's family. Her paintings, which were often self-portrait, were painted in a style that was influenced by popular Mexican art. During her lifetime, she was considered less important than her husband, but today she receives the recognition which she deserves. Non-defining relative clauses. Go between commas. You can't use that. You can't omit the relatives. Defining or non-defining. Remember, defining relative clauses. 
don't have commas. Z can replace who, which, and when. You can omit who, which, when, and then when they are not the subject of the relative clause. Summary. Defining relative. No commas. Omit the relative pronoun except when subject. Non-defining relative. Between commas, no omission. Relative pronouns. Who refers to people. Which refers to things. Whose to possessions. When for time, where for places. They use government and representation. Constitution. Legislative, executive, judicial. Legislative. Congress, House of Representatives. Senate. Executive. President. Vice President, Judicial, Supreme Court. The free and independent states needed one strong national government. That's why in 1787 all the states sent all the states sent their representatives to Philadelphia, where they wrote their constitution. Americans are very proud of their constitution. The U.S. government is like a tree with a strong trunk and three branches. Legislative power, executive power, judicial power. The Congress, the Senate, the House of Representatives executive power, the president, the vice president, the president's cabinet, judicial power, the Supreme Court, other federal courts. The Congress makes the laws and controls finances. The Congress meets in the USA Capitol. The Senate has 100 senators, two from every state. One third of them is elected every two years for a six-year term. The House of Representatives has 435 representatives. The number of congressmen from each state depends on the number of people who live in each state. Election takes place every two years. The president is elected every four years. He can hold office for two terms only. Functions. Head of state, commander-in-chief, control foreign policy, appoints secretaries, ministers. The vice president is elected together with president. He takes president's office if president is unable to finish his term. The Supreme Court, nine judges are appointed for life by the president. Functions. Interprets. Interprets constitution, test laws. The constitution. The government of the USA is based on the USA constitution. The constitution was signed on September 17th. 1787 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Each state has its own government, but there is one federal government for all. The Constitution describes what the federal government is allowed to do. The federal government is in charge of setting any disputes between states. It is also in charge of the army and foreign affairs, as well as issuing currency and running a postal service. By having this provided by one central government, U.S. citizens reduce the amount of tax they have to pay. To prevent any person or group from becoming too powerful, the separation of powers and a series of checks and balances were built into the Constitution. 
Congress and President. The President is the most powerful person in the USA. This power is held in check by both the Congress and the Supreme Court. If they don't like what the President intends to do, they have the power to prevent him. Presidents can propose changes in law, but Congress must pass them before they become law. The President himself cannot introduce bills into Congress. He has to find friendly members in both houses to do it for him. Congress can pass new laws, but the President has to sign them. If he uses his veto, it is difficult for Congress to override it because two-thirds of both houses would have to agree. Legislative branch includes Congress, Senate, House of Representatives, main job, make laws. The Senate, 100 members, two from each state, each senator serves for six years. Candidates must be 35 years old and live in the state they represent. House of Representatives 435 members. Number of representatives depends on the population of each state. Each representative serves for two years. Candidates must be 25 years old and live in the state they represent. Executive branch includes the president, main job, carry out laws, serves for four years. The government of the USA is based upon the Constitution, is divided into state and federal branches, checks and balances prevent dictatorship. The president is the executive. Congress is the legislature. The Supreme Court is the judiciary. The people have power. Regular elections. Students, our lesson is over. Goodbye. See you soon. Your teacher, Ainura Kaparovna.